society, we have four things going for us. Four things. And we don't use them as well as we should. The first thing is that we use money better than anyone else does. They spend so much to do so little. We are much more efficient in how we use resources than industry is. They can't do anything cheaply. They can't do anything where they have to struggle. We do. We're struggling all the time and using our money better than they do. More importantly, the second good thing we have in civil society, and that is we have time on our side. We don't give up. We're here for the long haul. We'll fight to the end. There's never a point where we walk away. Our capacity to use time to plan ahead and to make changes over a long period. Companies think in quarters, quarters of a year. We can think in decades. We have that capacity, they don't. It's our greatest strength. Thirdly, we have diversity on our side. They don't. We can bring together, as AFSA does, the pastoralists with the fishers, with the peasants, with the urban gardeners, with the, with, the, with the co op movement, and so on. We can come together and work together and outflank the enemy. We can move in ways they can't move, open up fronts in places they can't fight back, in ways they, they are not coordinated. If we continue to see that we're working for a food movement, not just for one part of that movement, but we're part of a whole movement, trying to move against the whole system that they have, then we can win because we will always have more diversity, be able to move in different places than they can, but only if they're acting together. And lastly, the fourth thing we have going for us in social movements and civil society is that we're right. We're right. We're doing the right thing. And knowing that is about the most powerful thing I know. You can't be being right. So if we think far enough ahead, if we use our money wisely together, if we maintain our diversity across the whole systems, if we keep on with the conviction that we know what our guts, we are right, then we can stop them all the time, over the long term. We don't need a slow food movement nearly so much as we need a long food movement. We need to think that long term. And frankly, it's almost criminally negligent of us if we don't collectively together have that pathway to the long term. Not just the policies, not just the practices, but the pathway. We know how we can move so that where we can be 10 or 20 years from now. Because I promise you, if we plan to try to create, for example, changes in national or international competition policies, in a five-year time frame, we will lose. If we plan to change those policies in a 10 or 15 or 20 year time frame, we will win if we want to do it. If we want to break up the corporations, we can do that. But not if we plan just for five years. It's a long job. It's a 10, 20 year job. 